1898, deep in the heart of Kenya, a terrifying legend was born. The man-eaters of Tsavo. Imagine this. You're a worker on the Kenya-Uganda railway building a bridge over the Tsavo River. You're tired, hungry, and ready to sleep. But as night falls, an unsettling fear grips the camp. Two maneless, enormous lions have taken to hunting humans. Unlike typical lions, these two have developed a taste for flesh that sends shivers down your spine. Over nine horrifying months, they kill and devour between 35 to 135 of your fellow workers. Each night, the camp is filled with screams, then silence, as another soul is lost to the darkness. The workers, mostly Indian and African laborers, are petrified. Many flee, bringing construction to a halt. The British government, desperate to complete the railway, sends in Lieutenant Colonel John Henry Patterson. As the engineer in charge, he takes on the deadly task of hunting these elusive predators. But these lions are no ordinary beasts. They display a cunning intelligence, evading traps and baits. Nights are spent in restless vigilance, knowing the next attack could come at any moment. After weeks of intense and dangerous hunting, Patterson finally succeeds. He shoots the first lion from a tree as it attempts to stalk him. The triumph is short-lived as the second lion continues its reign of terror. A few weeks later, after another harrowing chase, Patterson brings down the second beast. The carcasses of these fearsome lions are skinned and transported to the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago. There they are studied and displayed their legend living on. Scientists discover that one lion had a painful dental abscess, possibly driving it to seek easier prey like humans. The story of the man-eaters of Tsavo has since become etched in history, a chilling reminder of the deadly and unpredictable nature of the African wilderness. Books, documentaries, and even a Hollywood movie, The Ghost in the Darkness, have immortalized their tale. This harrowing encounter is more than a story of survival. It is a testament to the primal struggle between man and nature in the unforgiving landscape of colonial Africa. Next time you think of lions, remember the man eaters of Savo. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more terrifying animal stories.